Welcome to Heroes of the Pop Generations, a blockbuster exhibition which showcases some of the greatest pop artists of the 20th century and the impact their ideas had on subsequent generations of artists around the world. The exhibition has been kindly sponsored by Ravenscroft and with their generous support we are able to bring you masterpieces by Andy Warhol, Roy Lichtenstein, Keith Haring, Jeff Koons, Damien Hurst and many more. As you enter the exhibition, Heroes of the Pop Generations, you're greeted by a classic Eduardo Paolozzi print entitled Jazz, which is synonymous with pop art. Continuing on through the exhibition, you're greeted by two deeply impressive and iconic skull works entitled Skull Memento by the enfant terrible of the British art world, Damien Hirst. These make a dramatic and stylish entrance statement and really tell the story of the latest iterations of pop art. As you enter the first room of the exhibition, you are greeted to your left by two classic works by the late Roy Lichtenstein. Lichtenstein was one of the great American pop artists of the 1960s and 70s. And in these images, one called Red Barn and one called Crack, you see the typical use of bende dots, text and graphic images with clean lines and sharp colours. As you turn to your right within the first gallery space, you're greeted by two humorous works by Damien Hirst, the contemporary British pop artist. Titled The Last Supper Dumpling and The Last Supper Steak and Kidney, they are playful, bright graphic symbols of his more recent works. Also in this room, you'll find a classic piece by the American graffiti artist turned neo-pop artist Keith Haring from the Free South Africa period. As you enter the main gallery spaces, you are greeted by a riot of colour, form, texture and shape with some of the greatest pop artists ever to have known 20th century and contemporary art practice. Works by Cause, Andy Warhol, Banksy, Jeff Koons, Tom Wesselman, Keith Haring and Damien Hirst adorn the gallery spaces. On the right hand wall of the gallery you will find four works by Keith Haring. The two central pieces are unique drawings made from the 80s, taken from the New York subway and reframed. They contain classic Haring imagery of spacecraft, flying TVs, dancers and babies and are classic investment pieces for the future. Flanking the two unique drawings are two prints from the Apocalypse series which were some of the last works that Herring made in 1988. Uh, these original screen prints are beautifully made and presented and are classic of Herring's style. The influence of pop art in the 60s through to the 70s and 80s can still be felt to this day. Neo-pop artists such as Jeff Koons were deeply influenced by the graphic clean lines of pop artists such as Tom Wesselman. And on this wall we also see three works by perhaps one of the greatest living artists this day. Uh, Banksy's famous bomb hugger in pink. We have another print called Sail Ends Today. And of course the classic anti-war message, the CND soldiers. As we turn our attention to the end wall of the gallery, you will see that there are two classic Andy Warhol soup tins flanking either side of a striking triptych by the contemporary American pop artist Coors. Coors, whose real name is Brian Donnelly, is perhaps one of the most interesting and avant-garde artists of the day. Additional works to enjoy are this beautiful spot print by Damien Hirst, a classic collector's item, and two works by the late American pop artist Mel Ramos, who cheekily positions pin-up girls against classic Coca-Cola and Pepsi-Cola bottle tops. As we enter the final exhibition space, we're greeted by works by Andy Warhol, Peter Blake, Richard Hamilton, Julian Opie, Keith Haring, David Hockney, Damien Hirst, and the sensational American pop artist Tom Wesselman. There is a wide variety of works that can be enjoyed across the show, spanning from the 1960s right the way through to the current day. 
This really is a festival of pop art. Thanks for taking the time to watch Heroes of the Pop Generations. The gallery is open weekdays from 12 until 6 p.m. and Saturdays from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. The exhibition runs until the 12th of August. It's free to visit, so we look forward to providing you with a tour of our new displays.